Hey, welcome back to the channel everyone. Uh, today, we're here to talk about the Nintendo eShop. I wanted to talk about a handful of games that I personally think are my favorites. So basically my top five eShop games that I've actually purchased and spent some time on. Before we get into the actual top five, I wanted to talk about two games that they didn't quite make my list, but I still think are worth everyone's time if you're into that genre of games. And first is Flip Wars. It came out on the Switch pretty early, and if you're a Bomberman fan, you will love Flip Wars. And if you don't feel like paying the price for the retail version of Super Bomberman, then you will also enjoy Flip Wars. <laughs> I definitely think it's worth your time. And the second honorable mention is Cat Quest. I think it's a phenomenal game. It's really fun. It's simple. Like, if you're looking for something complex, save that for later. But if you're just looking for a fun game, just kind of jump in and play for a little bit, Cat Quest, definitely worth your time. Now, let's get to the list. All right. Coming in at number five is Sonic Mania. Absolutely love Sonic Mania. I think it's the Sonic game we have all been waiting for for years and years and years And I was so happy to get this game. Obviously Sonic Forces was a bit of a letdown But that's okay. We have Sonic Mania and hopefully we'll get Sonic Mania 2 and this creates a new A new game a new franchise for Sonic to be revitalized in I think Sonic Mania is just the perfect mixture of old-school gaming with new school gaming where they took a lot of the old levels, they redid them, they got some remixed versions, the music is phenomenal. Anyone who's a Sonic fan will absolutely love this game and it feels like you're playing an old Sega Genesis but it looks like you're playing in 2018. Sonic Mania is a must own title for any retro gamer who owns a Switch. It's awesome. Coming in at number four on my list, Golf Story. I think Golf Story is one of those surprise indie titles that came out of nowhere. Now, I personally didn't know much about it before it was released, but I watched a lot of videos on it. It seemed like a really interesting game, and I mean, if you're a fan of the old NES golf game back in the day, and you just, you don't really have to necessarily like golf to like this game. It's just a really fun take. It's a nice RPG where you build up your stats, you get to improve your character, you get better and better and better, while just having fun playing golf. I mean, it has a multiplayer mode, it has, you know, you can pick, you can play courses. It's really fun. The graphics are very old school, but yet they look modern, similar to Sonic Mania and many other indie titles that are coming out nowadays. You know, they look retro, but they feel new. That makes sense, right? Definitely feel like Golf Story is worth your time. I definitely feel like it it fits right here on my list of my top five e shop games and I just think it's a really fun experience. It's a definitely change of pace, it's not your typical game. I definitely think it's worth your time. Alright. Coming in at number three on my list, Stardew Valley. Now, obviously people on the PC, they know all about Stardew Valley, they absolutely love this game, and I was super excited to hear that it was coming to the Switch, because, I'll be honest, I don't play games on the PC. I don't have one, my laptop, I don't really think it's strong enough to run PC games. I'm, I'm really a console gamer, and Stardew Valley was just amazing. I'd heard so many good things about it, and I'd watched so many videos on it, and man, when it finally hit the Switch, I was excited. You know, I, I think, I know it's not exactly Animal Crossing, and I know people are really looking forward to Animal Crossing, and I know there are people who are really big Harvest Moon fans who were really happy about this game, but I really think this, for me personally, it fills that niche that I'm looking for when it comes to Animal Crossing, because we all know Pocket Camp wasn't curing that itch. <laughs> Sidebar, Pocket Camp was fun for the first two days. That's it. But Stardew Valley, endless fun. I mean, I, I think it's just such an amazingly done game. The graphics look beautiful for what it is. It, fit, it plays fantastically... Fantastically? Okay. It plays fantastic 
in handheld mode, it's pick up and play or it's a game you can sit and play for hours. And I think having that kind of variety is really important in today's gaming landscape because people are either one or the other and not a lot of people have time for both, you know? So I think Stardew Valley is a really good game to bridge that gap. Uh, the, the farming in the game is fun, building the relationships is fun. The game is fun, you know, you go into the dungeons and you fight the monsters, and you dig, you gather resources, you build up your farm pretty much any way you want. You know, I, I considered putting Minecraft on this list because of what Minecraft is, and it's just a really fun game to play, but I chose Stardew Valley over it because personally I feel like this was a more enjoyable experience for me. So Stardew Valley, my number three game. All right, number two, Shovel Knight. Now before we get into number two, I wanna to talk to you guys about the point of this list. These are just the top five games that I actually own. I know there are a bunch of eShop games that are phenomenal and probably some more that deserve my time. So if you see an eShop game that's not on this list that you think I should play, put it down in the comments below and maybe I'll give it a shot and I'll, maybe I'll do a video on it. Maybe I'll do a follow up. Five eShop games I didn't know about. <laughs> but Shovel Knight is amazing. It, it first came out on the Wii U, you know, for me. I don't, I don't know when it came out on the PC, but for me, I played it on the Wii U first. I got it when it first came out. It was phenomenal. I beat it and then that was it. You know, I didn't play any of the add-ons to it. So when I got Shovel Knight for the Switch, it had all the additional content. And that was just super exciting to me because it's like two other full games packaged in with an already amazing game in Shovel Knight. To me, Shovel Knight is just like, it's a combination of like Metroid, Mega Man, Castlevania, and just mushed into this package and it's beautiful. Again, another game, beautiful graphics, beautiful soundtrack, fantastic gameplay. The controls are really tight and it punishes you if you fail, you know? Like, it, it, it requires a lot of, you know, effort. You Sometimes you have to go through levels three or four times before you finally get it. And the satisfaction of beating these levels and beating these bosses and progressing feels really good. So Shovel Knight is definitely my number two game on this list. And it's probably one of my favorite games on the Switch overall. All right. Well, my number one eShop game that I personally own on the Nintendo Switch. My favorite game that is on the Nintendo Switch that I have downloaded, invested time in, Rocket League. When the Nintendo Switch was first announced, the one game I wanted was Rocket League because it was really the only game I was still playing on my PS4. And I really, I've been playing Rocket League since the day it came out and it's, it's a really great game. Let's just call it what it is. I mean, a lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it, but to me, it's one of my favorite games. It's one of the best games I've ever played personally because it's just fun. To me, Rocket League is what to Mario Kart would be to my younger generation, you know? And I say younger generation, I mean like my younger self when I was a kid. You know, Rocket League is just so fun. You just pick it up, you can play anywhere. You know, you can play online and the matches are just so intense and just the joy the joy of scoring, the joy of winning, and even even losing and you know getting beat, it's still fun. I, I find so much fun in it. It's endless entertainment. You just keep going, going, going. You know, I kind of do this thing when I play it. I do like a, a best of three, where I'll play two matches, and if I have two wins, then okay, I, I can stop playing. But if I have two losses, or if I only have one win and one loss, I gotta keep playing until I, I end the night on a winning record. And to me, things like that is just really, really fun. It's really exciting. And the customizing your cars, the soundtrack is so awesome. The developers are amazing. They keep constantly adding new content to Rocket League years after its initial release. So if you don't own Rocket League, or maybe you haven't given it a shot yet, I highly recommend it on the Switch. I, I see some people complaining about the frame rate and how it's not as good on the PS4. Who cares? Stop caring about graphics so much. Stop caring about 30 FPS against 60 FPS. If it plays and it's fun, that's all that should matter. 
So that's it. Those are my top eShop games that I actually own, I've actually invested time into. Also the two honorable mentions, you know, Cat Quest and Flip Wars. You know, let me know what you think about this list. Please tell me. You know, tell me if you think that this is stupid. Tell me if you agree. Tell me if you think these games are cool. You know, I want to hear about it. Let's start some kind of discussion about the eShop games. And what are some games, what are some games you'd like to see on the eShop? Maybe that we're missing out on. Let's hear about it in the comments below. So, while I was looking over the footage, I noticed that my battery died right at the end. So, here we go again. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this new video that I did, it was something new. I'm trying different formats. If you enjoyed this top list thing that I'm trying, you know, let me know below. You know, as always, you know, do the liking and all that stuff on these videos. It really helps. Um, thank you all for the support, and I hope to make more videos like this in the future. And until then, see you guys next time.